So I'm just going to go over this example outline with you guys, um, just so you guys can get a better picture of how to write an outline. So this is pretty much what it looks like. It's going to be very basic. You can do it with bullet points or numbers or letters. Um, so up here I just, I just wrote intro paragraph and then underneath that I wrote the thesis. And so this is a sample thesis. Um, the three most important symbols in Macbeth are the blood birds and line of kings. Now you don't have to know your thesis by this point. You can write a basic idea of what you want your thesis to say. And then beneath it, because this is my intro paragraph, um, I wrote, you know, three things that I want to touch on in my intro paragraph. So what do the birds symbolize? What does the blood symbolize? And, you know, what do the kings symbolize? It'll be very brief in your intro paragraph. You don't want to get into it at all. You just want to introduce it. And then underneath that, I have the first paragraph, which I'm going to choose to write about blood, because maybe I feel like that's my strongest point, or I have the most information on that. And then I have three subpoints. So, you know, and sometimes within your subpoints, you'll have even more subpoints, and that's okay. It just means you're going to have a really strong paper. And so I have blood is seen this many times in the play, and means this, this, and this. Each time the appearance of blood, you know, each time there is an appearance of blood, it causes this reaction, or it proves this, or it means this. Um, and then blood is important because. And so when you're giving yourself these questions, or sentences like this, it forces you to answer them, and it forces you to think a little bit more deeply about it. And it helps you come up with evidence that's going to support your paper. So my second paragraph is going to be birds. And I'm going to say, okay, birds foreshadow, you know, death, and appear five times or three times. And I'm going to give examples of those times. So the example of the birds and then what happens, you know, does some who dies every single time or when do they appear and then what happens? And then why is this a successful symbol? Why is this a strong symbol? Why is this an important symbol? Because up here my thesis says it's one of the most important symbols. Why? Why is it the most important symbol? So you have to make sure that you come back to your thesis in every single paragraph. And then you've got the third paragraph which is the line of kings. And you know, why is this important? What does it mean? Um, what, what is the influence of the line of kings during the play? And then why is this an important symbol? And then you're going to conclude and you're going to wrap up your points and you're going to restate your thesis. And remember to do that because it's really, really important, important that you restate your thesis and that you tie it back to your thesis every single time. Writing an outline like this is going to really strengthen your paper and it's going to give you the opportunity to think a little bit deeper and to think beyond what you might have done if this was a last minute paper or if you didn't write an outline. So I really encourage it.